Dear viewers, Drishti IAS welcomes you to the new series of To the Point. Today's topic of discussion is Defence Industrial Corridor. First of all, let's see why is it in the news. Recently, the Prime Minister visited the exhibition models of the Aligarh node of the upcoming Uttar Pradesh Defence Industrial Corridor. It was announced by the Prime Minister while inaugurating the UP Investors Summit in Lucknow in 2018. The government has established another defence industrial corridor in Tamil Nadu. Now let's discuss about defence industrial corridor. A defence corridor refers to a route or a path along which domestic productions of defence equipment by public sector, private sector and MSMEs are lined up to enhance the operational capability of the defence forces. Now moving on to the significance, it will help in making the nation self-reliant in the field of defence production and promoting Make in India which will reduce our imports and promote the export of these items to other countries. It will provide a fillip to the defence manufacturing ecosystem through synergistic development of technologies promote the growth of private domestic manufacturers, including MSMEs and startups. Now moving on to the challenges. The first challenge in the development of technology is in advanced electronics and materials, which cut across all the verticals. The second challenge is relative immaturity of material science to use lighter and stronger intelligent material. Meeting expectations of the industry, who not only wants faster clearance of their proposals for setting up or shifting their bases, but also tax benefits like in special economic zones or SEZ, faster decision making, etc., is a challenge for the government. While there is an over concentration of orders with the public sector, leading to choking and queuing, hardly any orders are actually flowing to the private players. Unavailability of talented human resources is also one of the major issues. Now shifting towards the Defence Industrial Corridor of UP. It is an aspirational project that intends to reduce foreign dependency of the Indian aerospace and defence sector. It will have six nodes that is Aligarh, Agra, Kanpur, Chitrakoot, Jhansi and Lucknow. The Uttar Pradesh Expressways Industrial Development Authority or UPEIDA is the nodal agency to execute this project in conjunction with various other state agencies. Now features single window approvals and clearances to defense and aerospace or D and A manufacturing units via Nivesh Mitra. Labor permits for D and A industry towards flexible employment conditions, simple procedures and rationalized regulatory regime with easy reimbursement of incentives and subsidies. Reason for choosing UP for Defence Corridor is that Uttar Pradesh is the fourth largest state in India and the third largest economy within the country. With a population of more than 200 million, UP has the highest number of available labour force and is one of the top five manufacturing states in India. The state also ranks first in terms of number of micro, small and medium enterprises, that is MSMEs, in the country and ranks second in ease of doing business or EODB. Now moving on to the prelims based question, which of the following states are chosen for the defence industrial corridor? 1. Uttar Pradesh 2. Gujarat 3. Tamil Nadu Select the correct answer using the following codes A. 1 and 2 only B. 2 and 3 only C. 1 and 3 only or D. 1, 2 and 3 Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Dear viewers, Watch this topic in Hindi on our Drishti IS Hindi YouTube channel.